thinking about putting the large gate here and then if we need to add some more taxiway to it we will hello guys and welcome to the next episode of sim airport with me biffa thank you very much for joining me we've got a few changes that i wanted to go over things that are hopefully making stuff work smoother one of the changes is not having the coo go into his office he's still stubbornly refusing to leave the drinks and the coffee machine naughty coo anyway so I've slightly changed some of the things here. We're going to have a look at this. So one of the reports that we have down here is the environment heat map. And if you put that on, anything red is good. Although I would have put that the other way around and had green bad and... Uh, a red bad and green good. But anyway. So I put a load of decorative bushes down here. <laughs> you can hear the cars beeping outside. What's holding them all up? A passenger taxi. <laughs> Why is he... Oh, he's going now. He's going now. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to that road in a moment. Um... So in this ticketed, uh, in this ticket uh, area, <laughs> get my words in order, um, in this ticket area here, I've decided to have one queue going in. Here we go. So we've got a lot of people turning up for our next flight. This is the 4am flight. Is en route. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Plenty of time. So they're all now going into one queue. They're going round here. We can probably speed that up a little bit. And then all of these desks are assigned to that one queue. There we go. So they get to the end, and then it's who's, who's free? Or oh, apart from this one at the ends here. This is for first class people. Who's holding up the queue? Oh, it's the pickup areas. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the first class queue. I've managed to change that. When you assign to here, you get the little pop-up box. You can change it. Coach, first class, whatever. So... And this seems to be moving along at a good speed. It's working fine. Will you stop beeping your horn? Can I make this guy go? Oh, he was, he's going to go anyway. Okay. So they get through there quite happily, which is fine. We've got our two ticketing kiosks. Then here I've changed things up as well in the security area. I read your comments. All the people going, oh, security. Yes, there were things that were back to front and a long way around. So what we've got is one queue here. Although what's odd is, is they come off the queue... The path finding's a bit odd. Look, some of these come off there. See, I'm looking at this lady here. So she's gone there. Then she's gone there. Now she's going to come up here and join the queue. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. See, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's going to—he's looking around. He goes there. No, 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 no. Can't use that. He's going to go there. No, can't use that. Then he's going to join the queue. It's a little bit odd. I don't know why they do that. Well, I'm wondering whether if I just shrink that queue... You need a big queue, um, but if I go sort of like up like that, round like that, and then have it here. So as they come around the corner, they see that first, maybe. Let's go like this. I don't know. I'm testing things out with these queues. Uh, no, expand queue. So if we go like that, they should, they should see that first, join the queue. Let's see how that works out. It may not work for these ones for this flight that are already walking down here. Oh, look. Straight in, straight in, straight in. Excellent. That's better. That's better. Some of these are still going to do the... No. Oh, no, they're not. They're fine. Uh, maybe. Anyway, that looks better. Look, they're going straight in. Excellent. This baggage scanner area here... Um, I When I set this up ages ago, I flipped this one around. I was trying to sort of mirror this here but it doesn't work it only works one way so we now have two of these generally speaking that works okay when i've got enough money that i can just place things down move things change them as at will i will maybe put these further apart and have a third one in here to line up with these and these have been changed as well i misread your comments i do apologize i thought you were telling me the body scanners were the wrong way around um, it's these here. The metal detectors were facing the wrong way. Now everybody happily goes through. We have three of these set up. Let's speed things up. So they get their bag scanned. They're through the metal detectors. They randomly seem to choose one. They don't all go for the same one, which is good. So that change. Let's slow things down again. Is that... See, we're getting weird things with flights. Look, this flight is delayed for no reason. There's been no other plane in here for two hours... That, that's going to be cancelled. These big these big planes are being cancelled at the moment. Oh, it's got a question mark there. For each of these. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. We've had an update to the game. Okay, I need to I need to change my 
Uh, how do I cancel flights that we've already got? These 777 flights need a large gate now. That's what it is. And because I don't have a large gate, they're not landing. These large gates cost £42,000. Ah, so people are still coming for those flights, but they're not landing. So all of these are turning up for a flight that isn't coming. How do I get rid of... Okay, I can't click on there to get rid of it. Uh, 777. I can't... Requires afternoon arrival. I can't... Click on there and get rid of it. Let's click on here. Uh, current flights. This one here. How do I cancel a flight that I already have? I don't know. That's something new, but since the game has been updated... Uh, where are these flights from? Okay, Air, let's check this one. Aerostar 777. Okay. Aerostar. Afternoon. That's a new one, isn't it? 777. So if I accept that, it requires a larger gate. So it's locked. Oh, man. I hope that hasn't broken my game. Let me see if I can find out how to cancel a flight. I'll be right back. Aha, here we go. Right click to terminate this flight contract and remove it from your schedule going forward entirely. Termination fees apply. So we do need to remove the big 777. Yes, remove it. 6,000? What? What? I've got to remove it because people are so unhappy. Oh, man. And how much is it for the other one? 6,800. I've got, not got enough money for that one. Oh, buddy. That is so much money. Well, we can sort of move these ones around a bit. Oh, that sucks. That, let's get things going again. Let's get things moving. So, at the minute, everybody's turning up for the early morning. Oh, we got three of them. No. Wow. I didn't realise we had so much money. And there's no way I could have afforded the larger gate. 42,000. I've not had that much money at all. In my, here we go. Look, everyone's like, oh, oh. Darn it. But yes, the other thing here. I found some things out about the gate. Um, last episode, I think we're going to have to put up with everybody unhappy until we've got another 6,000. The money will go up again. Look, flight ops can cover 43, expenses 19. So we're getting a total of 23 odd. But I think that's only if flights are completed. So if some of the big flights aren't completed, we may end up going bankrupt. I don't know how that's going to work. Darn, they did say when they updated the game, you may need to start a whole new game to take advantage of some of these things. So, okay, what's this flight coming in? Here we go. We've got a flight. So let's just slow this down a minute. With these gates here, when you assign your gate, you assign it to a queue, which is fine. So I have one queue and I have it sort of starting here. So everybody coming out doesn't quite get in the way of everybody here, generally speaking. Um, it, it, it works a lot better. But you also need to assign your gates. I uh, don't want to click that. Airplane gate. You assign that to a gate desk. And I don't think... I'm, well, I'm 99% sure I hadn't assigned that to my gate. So the other gate wasn't working at all. But now we've gone for the same thing as over here. We've got one queue feeding three desks. Here we have one queue feeding two desks. Uh, boarding starts in 39 minutes. It says 244 out of 145 people standing. I don't know whether that's people from the last flight still hanging around. Uh, let's speed this up until they start boarding. Bum, 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 bum. We're up to 6,280. So we've got to be careful we don't go bankrupt. Here we go. They're boarding. Let's put that on double speed. Uh, 224. Yeah, I think these people here are ones from the last flight. They're going to go Ugh, and all leave in a minute when this flight goes. But that should be okay. Two minutes left, 145. Some of those people are a bit stuck, I think. That's what it is. Oh, here they come. But this one's gone over time a bit. There's also a way of getting people that are stuck out of the plane. Oh, here we go. Look, they're all coming in. That was a bit weird. They were all stuck there. But anyway, some of them aren't even using the queue. Did you notice that? They're well going over time. But never mind. It boarded. All apart from one. Is it this guy here? Who's late? Are you stuck in the toilet? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that went through. So that's fine. That was my... This one here. This one ain't going to land. This one that's en route. £12,000 we've got. Okay, let's... That's the 1344 one. 
767. That's this one, isn't it? Yeah. 777. So let's remove that. So we've got 767. Oh, darn it. Have I removed the wrong one? Oh, that's the early morning one. We can't afford to do that. 767. What's the time now? Hobbers 12. Eh? Hang on a sec. En route. Arrival 1345. 145. It shouldn't be. I've cancelled it. That says en route, but that's the one I've cancelled already, isn't it? Maybe it kicks in on the next day or something. So we just need to get enough money to cancel that one. And then we've got a 767 there. A 767 that we could. Let's see. If we move this one up. We could squeeze another one in, couldn't we? In here, get a new afternoon contract. What times have we got? Yeah, we want a new afternoon contract. Let's do that one. Who's the happiest with us? I've also put my prices up. Uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, let's go for this one here. Galactic Point. What have they got? Afternoon Airbus. Boeing 787. Airbus 525 max passengers. Can I have one of those? Requires a larger gate. Oh, I cannot have one of those. Afternoon. afternoon. Oh, all of these are locked. Requires a larger gate. Okay, we won't be having any of them. Who else have we got here? Who's the next happiest? 68%, 65%. Let's have a look. Okay, these are shorter. 767, 737. If we can get a 767 in the afternoon. 707, what do they take? 180. 737 night, 707 afternoon. Okay, let's go for one of these then. Let's have a look at our schedule. So that could be moved up. So that, that's going to be getting... Oh, no, that's not getting cancelled. That's fine. So we can have that at two. We could have another one in here. Let's go for another star flight. Afternoon 707. Maybe shifty that up a bit. Yeah, there we go. So that works. Those four there. And then this one's going to get cancelled. Yeah, we're going to cancel that one now. There we go. Yes, remove it. All right, let's make sure we don't go bankrupt. So let's just let this run a bit <laughs> and see how it goes. Uh, also, why I think, while I think of it as well, thank you to the guys on the Sim Airport Discord. Uh, I'm going to link that below so you guys can go and check that out. Um, I just posted my message on there with my question of help, please help me. And uh, they got straight back to me, which was fantastic. So thank you very much for that. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. So what flight are we waiting for next? Bom, 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 bom. Hopefully this is going to kick in and change at the end of the day. So en route is, yes, this new one here. A Ford Air 767A1 coming in at 6.15. Please land. And land. Final approach. It's coming in. Okay, we want to see this one. Oh, tons of money. That's the other thing I did. I actually put my money up. Let's put that up to 1,000 and that up to 30. You can only do that once every 12 hours. I think if you try and do it again, it will say... Uh, every 12 hours on the note. Yeah, so let's see. Make sure this goes through okay. Excellent. So those few little changes... Uh, three people didn't get on for some reason, but okay. Fair enough. And then the next one's at 10 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. Cancelled, cancelled. So I'm hoping that's going to get me moved from there once it ticks over to 12 o'clock. That one's going to come in and land. And we should start getting a lot more money as well. Here comes everybody. That's en route for 10. That's delayed. Oh, that's the big one. No, that's fine. So as the day kicks over to 12, I'm hoping this is going to change and not have these ones on there. Oh, it just says cancelled. So I think that's it now. Let's just see. Coming up to midnight sip of tea while we're waiting. Here we go. That would make sense if it did, if it doesn't. Let's close that and maybe open it again. No, not that one. Yeah, they still show on there, but they just, they're just cancelled. So I'm hoping we're not going to get any people turning up now. So our schedule should just be, we've got one at 10, one at 2, one at 5. I'm not quite sure what that is, like 5.45 and one at 9. -ish. We could have another one early morning, couldn't we? So let's add... Another early morning. Who's the most happy with this galactic point? We can't do. See, some of these aren't as happy now because of the um, because of the prices. But I don't think it makes much difference. That's a seven seven seven. What have we got here? Morning. 
What size is that? A 195 and a 900. 75. See, these are really small, aren't they? We could accept both of those. Yeah, let's accept both of those. Let's have a look at our schedule. Let's shift these around a bit, get them all to fit in. There we go. Yeah, that could probably go a lot early, couldn't it? Let's get that as early as it'll go. Spread these out a bit. I bet we can even fit a third one in there. Oh man, we've got minus 8,425 on the monies. <gasps> okay, when's our next one coming? 8 o'clock. Let's see if we can get back into... En route for 10 o'clock. Okay, these other ones aren't... Oh, that's not going to change, is it? Till the next day, maybe? <gasps> Let's hope we start earning money, because otherwise we're going to be really in trouble. And, and there also is some research. I was talking about doing these. Road building is the next one, so we can build and demolish our own roads, and then multi-lane access once you've done the road, but that's like 16,000. So hopefully this is going to work now, and everything's going to be happy... So let's just let this run through a day and see. And hopefully that's going to sort out the problem. Everyone's joining the queues up here. That's getting through quickly. They're joining the queues here. Okay, the plane is here. Starts loading in 52 minutes. Everybody's standing and waiting. And a few extra passengers that have been bumped from the flight before. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if I finished that sentence. I'll put a link to the Discord in the description below. You can click that link. Go and check it out. Join. Very helpful people. Okay, it says... Yeah, some of these people are getting stuck again. I think it's the queue's not big enough. So we need to make a bigger queue. Okay, they're going over time, but everybody's on. Right, let's just check that. So they're leaving at 1. The next one isn't until 2. So I'm hoping that's going to go in time. This says en route. Please don't cancel. Should be fine. He's gone. You can hear him leaving. Oh, hang on. We've got two en route. That's not until 6.45. Why is that one on route already? Final approach. Yeah, he's landing. We're in the plus again. Nice. 10,000. I may add another gate, but we need a lot of money for that. This is 7.45. I don't know why it says on route already. Uh, 7.45. 5.45. There's plenty of time. Oh, look at that nice plane. That looks cool, doesn't it? I like that one. Yep, people are going in. So I think this is working much better. If we just slow this down a bit and have a look at the way they use these gates. Look, let's take this person with the red shirt. So he's gone there and he's gone. They will randomly choose one. There we go. He's gone there and gone. This one's gone here and gone. Yes, yeah, so they do randomly choose one gate. They don't use two. So that's good. And the satisfaction is much... Oh, hang on. What happened there? Some still didn't board... For some reason. A couple are stuck up here. I don't know why. But generally speaking, it's working fine and we're making a lot of money. So how much do we need to add a second gate? That's what I want to do. So we can we can add easily a second gate up here. What's all this stuff here? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the grass has been trodden down. Oh, it's my underground. Look. Uh, it's my underbank, underground conveyor lines. That's what that is. Yeah, we could add a second gate, a second door, and maybe remove some of these seats at the end here, this section here, and have another... So we could really start adding more... Let's speed this up again. Really start adding more flights in. I mean, we could even add another flight in now. We could have another morning flight quite happily and shift some of these things around. <laughs> Let's add another one. This one here. Oh, these are still all the big ones, aren't they? Lock, 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 lock. And then once we've got a ton of money coming in, uh, these are nights, then we'll go for a big gate. Morning, 777, no. Let's just go up the list. Uh, night, don't want those. Pacific Airlines, night. A Ford Air, night. Galactic Point, we can't do. Rexicana, morning. 787. That ain't going to let me do that, is it? No. Aero time morning and 900. Yeah, we can do that one. Let's have that. 15,000. Yeah, money's coming in. Where's that one gone? Hmm? Did I actually do it? It doesn't seem like I did it. What happened there? Mexicana morning. Oh, requires a larger gate. No, it wasn't that one, was it? It was this one. Aero time morning and 900. Yeah, there we go. I didn't think I pressed the button. 
Yay, there we go. So if we spread these, how early will that go? That won't go any earlier. That one's sort of fine there. If we have, what's that? Six to half seven. Half nine, half ten to eleven. That's like an hour and a half in between. That seems to be perfectly fine for what we've got. We've got 17,000. So let's have a look. Second normal gate is 28,000, but a large one is 42,000. We could just save up and get that instead. I've changed my mind because what we'd have to do, we could have put a second gate here. See, if I start in a new game, you'd know how to do it. You would have left that space and then I would have put these things over here instead. Um, but, you know, that's the way we learn as we play. But rather than doing that now when we're limited on money, I'm thinking I'm going to wait until I can afford a large gate and then we can stick that at the end here or something. I don't know whether that needs the touch there, whether that could just go, like, in here. We might need to just add a tiny little bit of extra building there. I mean, it doesn't say invalid placement, other than not enough money, so... And then we could have another little boarding area here. 22,000, so it ain't going to be long until we get there. Things are running good. I mean, the leaving is a bit annoying. But when we, you know, I want to work on the roads. <laughs> I'll work on the roads once we get enough money to do that. But I want to get a big gating. So 42,500 we need. So I'll tell you what. I'll carry on playing this for a bit until we've got enough money. Then we'll, oh look, there's a little small one coming. Oh, for 48 people. Nice. <laughs> and then uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, we have some money. I'm thinking about putting the large gate here. And then if we need to add some more taxiway to it, we will. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. I'm just looking because the plane comes in. Let's just watch this plane here. So it drives in from the front. And then when it reverses out, it goes out the back. I don't know whether we're going to actually need along here a connection for people to walk in. Yeah, it seems like that part there needs to connect to a building. So we need a building to extend along here. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, and then it reverses out again. I think if we did that, and then we could extend this building along here, I think that would work well. Okay, let's plop that there. Because this is the bit where they're going to they're gonna go in. Right-click for construction options. Council project. No, I don't want to do that. So we also need some money to extend this, which we'll get to. And then some more gates and things like that. Let's build foundation. If we go like... Not enough money. Done. How much money do we have? What will we need? We are going to need... I want to go right to the end. 154,000. Okay, can we go up to just there? 114,000. Okay, let's maybe do this as small as we can. And then we can make it bigger later. So if we go like 30,000 like that and stick a couple of doors... <laughs> we need a lot of money. To get this done, good grief. Okay, so the gate's done. I'd be interested to see if we had this gate assigned to over here. I don't know whether that would let us do it <laughs> or not. But we're getting there, so what does it need? It says, requires at least one gate, agent desk, three adjacent taxiway in front. Well, there we go, so we know that. So I couldn't have had it facing the other way. Requires a door to the terminal. Yeah, so we're going to add that. So the taxiway... We can build that. They cost 16000 each. So, that's going to mean one, two, three. So, they're going to come in there and go that way. There probably was a better way of doing this. But at the minute, this is the way I've done it. So, we just need to wait for some money to come in. And then we can finish off this build here. So, yep. I'll be back with you. Right, we're midway through our expansion. We, we did get like $54,000 and I've just spent it on this. So we've got the sliding door that we need. I'm sort of setting it up like this was. And we're going to have, rather than build all of this, I'm just going for something a bit different. We're going to have a little corridor that comes through here. Maybe the queue will go down there, but we're going to have our desk up here. We've got to wait for some more money to come in. That will kick in. And also, something worth mentioning is you can up the prices on this reasonably high, and I've had nothing be cancelled yet. I mean, everything yesterday, uh, there we go, all departed, went through fine. 
Uh, everything tomorrow is still all scheduled, and everything today is on its way. What are we waiting for? Our 4 a.m. flight. So that's pretty. That's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. And these little flights, you know, don't take up much time. So we could possibly shiftify these up a little bit. Requires afternoon. That's as far as that one will go. Where will this one move up to? So that will probably go up to there. That leaves an hour in between. Let's leave an hour and a half. Uh, one, that's an hour and a half there. So it's actually not giving us any extra space this end of the day, is it? <laughs> that one won't go down anymore. Oh, I was hoping I could squeeze another one in. We've got two hours there. Everyone else has got an hour and a half in between. Okay, let's not push it. Let's not push it. Once we get this other gate going... Getting a large flight going is going to be interesting. How's this looking here? Okay, that's done. We're minus 4,000. We need some more flights to come in. As soon as they do, we'll start getting some more money. Let's speed that up again. Because as soon as we start getting a large flight going, then, I mean, we need to add our exit. What I'm hoping is they'll come down here, exit through there. That's fine, yeah. Whether we are then ticketing and security is enough to handle, say, a flight like this turning up and a couple of large flights at the same time. There we go. We've got 7,000. Oh, man. The FPS is going down. <laughs> it happens sometimes. So let's get in here. What do we need? Oh, six FPS. What's going on? Okay, it's fine. Restart. So we need a gate. Uh, gate agent desk, which is going to be assigned to that. So we're going to have that one in the middle there. We'll have somebody that's going to come and work on that. Our queue will probably be... I mean, this is going to be a big area. But I'm going to leave some space around the queue for... Do you know what? I'm actually going to change that. I'm going to leave some space around the queue for some pot plants and things. I don't want to go there. I want it to start there. There we go. So we're going to go like this. Yeah, that's not assigned to anything yet. Let's try that. I know we haven't got any doors in. We need some more money to get these going. Let's assign... Let's cancel that. Assign to a gate. There we go. We'll assign that to a queue. There we go. So that's that. And then we just need enough money to get these two things built together here. And we may remove some of these walls. And what I'm going to do is... Let's have a look. How much are we going to need to have a little corridor going through here? Let's have it this side like that. 12,000. 18,000. We'll give us a three-wide corridor through there. I think that will be the way we're going to go. If I go over the top of that, is that going to... 19,000. There we go. Hopefully that will work well. And then we'll remove the end bits and stick doors in. So, yep, I'll be back with you. Oh, there we go. we just got the money. Oh, let's do it then. Uh, that's a bit further down than I wanted. I was going to do it up in the corner there. 19,000. There we go. Let's get them building that. Are we on five speed? We are... And then, let's build... I don't know whether I'm going to put doors in this section here. I will remove the walls once they're done. But this is still... Airline interest is still pretty high. I mean, considering how high our prices are, I wonder whether I can put them up again. Let's put them up to 1.8. Put that up to 50. I mean, I don't know whether that's going to suddenly get a load of flights cancelled for tomorrow. They're all scheduled still. Whether that will change or not, we shall see. But we need the money. We need the money. Okay, where's my builders? All the stuff turning up? Uh, deliveries will be over here. Yeah, it's probably a delivery van here somewhere. Right. Oh, there we go. They're building it already. Oh, man. Okay, I might have to just restart the game. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been done. There we go. So we just need to maybe change the carpet, put some information boards, that sort of thing around it. In fact, I think I'll do that now. Now, we've had a couple of interesting things that have happened in between the last segment and this one. I'm going to put two there, and I'm also going to put... I don't know which way that one's facing. <laughs> how do I tell which way it's facing? Oh, okay. We'll just go with two there. That'll be fine for now. We'll work it out. Had a bit of an issue between the last... Um, let's slow this down a bit. Between the last recorded segment and this one, my game broke. So it is it is alpha. It is, it is alpha, this game. Um, a plane got stuck. It couldn't get removed. Some cars got stuck. Oh, we need to shift you this along a bit because we have no flights today. All my new flights are coming in tomorrow. And I had some help. 
Um, from two amazing guys on the Sim Airport Discord server. In fact, I am going to slow that down a bit because we're going to do a little bit of work here. Oh, no, clicked the wrong one. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so my uh, my save totally broke. Really weird. Don't know quite what was going on with it. Let's put all that in there. There we go. Get them to build that. And I gave them my save. It was Soccerman and Jackald. Thank you guys very, very much. They took my save. They worked on it. They basically rebuilt all of this for me um, in the new version of the game so I could carry on recording because that would have been a lot easier than trying to wait around for the devs maybe to fix my recording or, I don't know, take a look at it. I've sent it to the devs anyway so they can fix any bugs that come up. But they've done a fantastic job. It looks, in my eyes, exactly as it did before. <laughs> so if there's any slight tweaks, any slight changes... Oh, we need to hire some more staff. We don't have enough staff. We need two more security staff there. Uh, yes, let's have one and two. Let's just check we've got enough staff everywhere. The COO is now a lady. <laughs> she still doesn't like her office. Who knows why? But now this guy is a CFO and he loves his office. Yep, we've got people working here. So everything's looking okay. Also, I had a weird thing where all my conveyor lines disappeared. So they, they've just rebuilt the whole thing, which is absolutely fantastic. That's going to go full speed. What I want to put in here as well is I did want to put... If we look at ye olde heat map. There's no good environment stuff in here. There is some stuff there. There's nothing over here. I'm going to put actually... Some decorative bushes. No, not there. No, Don't want to do that. Some decorative bushes. We're going to go one there. Oh, it's like it doesn't quite line up with the mouse. Stop it. Let's try that again. One there. I, I don't want to put one there because I don't want to stop them getting through. There we go. And the same up there. We'll leave that free. So I'm hoping by the time they get round here, they've got enough information that they know what they're doing. Let's just double check that everything's hooked up correctly. Yep, assigned to the gate, assigned to the queue. Fantastic. Let's check this one over here. Yep. And yep. So everything's working. So I'll tell you what. Oh, we need some more. Don't we need some more officers for this? We'll be back in a second. I'll put another one in. Are they going to go somewhere else? Oh, hang on. <laughs> There's like two of them working at this desk. Uh, fire. We don't need two people working there. Right, so we'll be back. We'll be back once all the planes start rolling. I've had to reschedule one of my planes. We've got one, two, three, four planes coming in. 19 max, 180 max, 250 max. Let's have a look. I don't think we've got a big one yet. Because with the game being redone, my interest was down. I've got no passenger satisfaction. So we'll have to go with what we've got. I'm going to check all of these as well. And I will be back with you. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, that one's going there and there. That one's going here. That one's going here. Uh, we might just change that one to just be unassigned there. Yeah, and just the first class only do that. Yeah, excellent, good. Okay, so back in a couple of seconds. Okay, people are turning up. Our first one's a 90 max plane. It's a small one. I've actually added at the end of the day a big Boeing 777 with 400 max packs. So we'll see how that one goes. Here we go. Everybody's arriving. Immediately 13,000. I've upped my money again, my pricing. 1,535. I can't remember exactly what it was before. Let's see how this goes. Starts in 14, 13, 12, 11, until the 95th of the one. Everybody's there. Everybody's going to board this one. No problem at all. Come on. One person left. Yay. It's done. Excellent. So that one worked well. The next one is at 7.30. And now that we've got two runways, we don't actually need to worry if there's some overlaps. We may be able to get even more flights coming in. Look at that. 93, over 90% satisfaction. That is really cool. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, here comes the next flight. Let's see if this one works well. Boeing 707. Not quite sure why it says 110 out of 69. To me, before it used to be 69 was how many people could go on the flight. Yeah, it's almost like there's more people that want to board. Like they're getting overbooked. I don't know anyway, unless I'm misreading that. That one went well. Yep, yep, yep. More money coming in. I may, I may raise the money even more. Oh, somebody missed the flight. I don't know how that happened, but there we go. Yeah, everything's still working. So the episode's not ending yet. 
just because I'm going to say the words in the next episode. But in the next episode, we're going to have a look at the cafe. I'm going to try and put a cafe down here somewhere, perhaps, off this area. This desk hasn't been used yet. We don't have the flights that close together. It'll be interesting to see... Yeah, we're getting tons of money all the time now. When these two come... Because they are quite close together. We should get to use both gates. Well, this one, this big gate will be used anyway. Because we're obviously going to need that for the 777. There we go. Everybody's going in. This one's working okay. Everybody's still happy. Yeah, so in this new update, apparently the cafes, the restaurants have been fixed. Which a lot of people have put in the previous comments that they don't work. So I'm guessing you've seen that somewhere. Either you've seen one person comment it, and you've all copied that comment, or you've seen it in another, another video. That's that's normally what happens. <laughs> okay, what's the time? 3.30. What have we got? Got this one coming in, the 7.07 with 180 max. It's only taking 58. I don't know what changes the amount of people. What affects how many people actually go on that flight. Because it says here, maximum 180. But what makes, what can you do to make more people want to come and fly? Why are they sort of hovering around a bit? Not everybody got on there. We're going to have a couple of errs in a minute. These guys here, I bet. Yeah, there we go. They weren't queuing up anywhere, but they got through a bit slowly for some reason. Hmm, I don't know why. Next one at seven. So these are the two. We've got a very small one and then a large one. So actually, that could probably come a bit closer. We could fit. Oh, look at this little tiny plane. That's fantastic. Here we go. Everybody's here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That only looks like nine people. So that's 16 stroke nine. That figure's wrong, isn't it? Because all nine are here and all nine are about to get on. Here he comes. Don't miss your flight. He got it. You can go now. Yep, there we go. And the big one will be in any second. It's not showing up on my list. Oh, is that going to be the next day? Oh, darn it. It's going to be the next day because I booked it in, I think, in the middle of the day. Oh, I want to see the big one land. So I'm going to run through the next day and I'll be back with you. This episode is getting really long. But I know we all want to see the big plane come in the new gate we built. So I'll be back. Okay, here we go. People are turning up for the last flight of the day. That was just gone. The next one's coming at 10. Coming into land. And oh, here, Cola. Everybody's coming down here. The first use of this corridor... And we'll join in the queue. I put a bench and some food and stuff in here. Although people don't seem to be drinking here. Yay! They're coming into the large gate. Fantastic. There we go. be interesting to see how that... I wonder whether we need to make that queue go down there a bit longer. Oh, yeah, of course. Everyone's coming off as well. I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe we can have, like, an exit corridor here. So they just go down there. Although they're not, they're not knocking into each other, are they? Let's see how this goes. So 180, 990, 270, out of 272, 200, everybody's there. Look, oh, auto save. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Look at this lady here. She's like, no, no, the plants, the feng shui is off. Yeah, okay, here we go. They're loading, they're loading. Plenty of time left. And we're making tons of money. Wow. So he's driving. Oh, he's driving under the plane. <laughs> That's fine. You can't. Yeah, look, these guys have all got stuck again. Until this queue goes down, they're going to be stuck there. Then they're going to start filing through one at a time. There they go. We need to make a bigger queue. Yeah. Let's speed this up. That's a bit weird, isn't it, that it does that? So you need big queues to hold however many people you need to get on the plane. Yeah, still got 45 minutes left. Come on, everyone. We can get on. We can do it. It's my first new big plane in this new setup that's working in the new patch with the new A2 gate. They're going to do it. Go on. 19 minutes overdue. Please wait until everybody gets on. Oh, satisfaction's down to 70%. There they go. Hooray. Two people are going to go, ugh. <laughs> Where are they? And it's gone. Excellent. Oh, I'll be changing that queue. So you can now look on here and it will tell you which gate they're coming into as well. So most are A1. If any overlap, they're automatically assigned. This is a big one, but these will be automatically assigned to gate A2 as well. So, oh, that's really good. I'm pleased this is all working. 
thank you again to Soccer Man and Jackald for the help in getting this up and running in the new patch. That was very, very kind of you. I do appreciate it. So we're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be building a cafe. We're going to be upgrading. There's so much more that I want to do. So I'm looking forward to that. And I will see you then. Hit the big B with the T-Stain on to subscribe so you don't miss out. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.